Well, I'm back in the market. I've got my fresh Aussie almonds straight from the orchard and I'm cooking up a delicious almond brownie bliss ball recipe. Almonds, they're so good for us. They're packed full of nutrition, good fats, protein, fiber, calcium, vitamin E. There's so many nutrients in them. Port Innovation and the almond industry have worked together for many years to share all the goodness of almonds and tell the story about how a healthy handful goes a long way. So I'm just gonna blend up some almonds, about a third of the amount that I have for the recipe. And these are gonna be used to roll the balls in. So we'll just throw a few into the thermo mix and turn that on. So I'll take this off. Now we'll just pull that onto a plate. Oh, this smells so good. And that is just gonna be a beautiful coating for our brownie bliss balls. All right, so we're going to throw a whole lot of ingredients into the blender. I love this recipe, it's so simple. Seven ingredients, one food processor. So we've got the rest of our almonds going into the food processor. We've got some medjool dates, which will add a lovely sweetness. We've got some rolled oats, cacao powder. This is the chocolate stuff. Got to get this in to get that chocolate hit. And vanilla extract. So now we'll just blend it all up. So we've just blended the initial ingredients together. Couple more to go. We've got some almond oil straight from the orchard and almond oil, just like almonds, full of good fats, vitamin E, good for our skin. And I talked to Neil Bennett about how he grows his almonds. Hi, I'm Neil Bennett. I've been an almond grower for 30 years and this is the land that my great grandfather helped clear back in 1910 when they first came to this area. The way we grow the almonds is we plant them. In the next following year, two years, we'll train them to the shape that we want. Then by year three, we'll start to get a crop. The almonds are pollinated by the use or with the use of bees. We bring in hives. We need cross pollination, so they'll visit one variety and then go and visit another variety, and it's the pollen that they collect on their legs that gets in and it causes the, an almond to form. I really enjoy almond growing and farming with all the new technology that's coming into play. Each year it's like a competition that we have with ourselves to grow a better crop. We try and do things um, smarter and more sustainable to be around for the long haul. The Hort Innovations uh, projects that have uh, helped me over the years have been the pollination, the research into pollination. There's also been, uh, well, we're doing work on the architecture of the tree and how that's set up to see if we can grow more almonds in a smaller area. It all mounts up to uh, trying to make us as sustainable as possible. what I can even smell the cacao and look at that texture and they are terrific to have you know when you're feeling like you need something sweet and you need a little chocolate hit these bliss balls will just hit the mark and they're a great source of protein so if you want an all-natural protein ball these are the ones to go for so we'll just roll that in the crushed almonds and this makes about 10 little snacks.
Well, there they are, our almond brownie bliss balls. They look delicious and I can't wait to try them. In fact, let's just give them a taste. Mm. You get that crunch from the almonds, that sweetness from the dates, that chocolate hit. They are so delicious. So I reckon these would make a terrific snack for the kids after school, sweet, chocolatey, delicious, and a great after gym workout snack as well. Now give these a go at home. They're so quick and easy, healthy, natural, full of protein. And thank you, Neil, for sharing your delicious almonds with me.